Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by kinetic energy. You should then be able to calculate kinetic energy for a moving object. All of the objects I'm showing you here have got kinetic energy. We've got a train, a Formula One car and a roller coaster. So what exactly is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is the energy stored in moving objects. So a stationary object, such as a parked car, has got no kinetic energy. Now we calculate kinetic energy by using this equation. Kinetic energy in joules is 0.5 multiplied by the mass of the object in kilograms multiplied by the speed of the object squared. And the unit of speed is meters per second. Now I should point out something really important here. You're not given this equation in the exam, so you've got to learn it. So I'm showing you here a car travelling at a constant speed. Let's take a look at the energy changes taking place. The car runs on petrol and that's a store of chemical energy. A chemical reaction takes place in the engine and some of the energy is converted to kinetic energy stores as the car moves. So we're going to calculate kinetic energy of a moving object. Here's a sample question. A car with a mass of 700 kilograms is moving with a speed of 20 meters per second. Calculate the kinetic energy of the car. So here's the equation. Kinetic energy equals 0.5 multiplied by the mass multiplied by the speed squared. The mass is 700 kilograms and the speed is 20 meters per second. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us a kinetic energy of 140,000 joules. Now scientists often convert joules into kilojoules. To do this we divide by 1000, so in this case the kinetic energy is 140 kilojoules. Here's a question for you to try. A cyclist and bike have a total mass of 100 kilograms and a speed of 15 meters per second. Calculate the kinetic energy. You should pause the video now and try this yourself. Ok, so here's the equation and remember you need to learn this. Kinetic energy is 0.5 multiplied by the mass multiplied by the speed squared. The mass is 100 kilograms and the speed is 15 meters per second. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us a kinetic energy of 11,250 joules. Dividing this by 1,000 gives us 11.25 kilojoules. Here's a final question for you. A tennis ball is traveling at 50 meters per second and has a kinetic energy of 75 joules. Calculate the mass of the tennis ball. Pause the video and try this yourself. Ok, now in this question we're given the kinetic energy and we've got to use this to calculate the mass. So we need to rearrange the equation for kinetic energy like this. The mass is the kinetic energy divided by 0.5 multiplied by the speed squared. Putting our numbers into the equation gives us a mass of 0.06 kilograms for the tennis ball. Remember you'll find plenty more questions on calculations involving kinetic energy in my vision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. Ok, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by kinetic energy. You should then be able to calculate kinetic energy for a moving object.